All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have the Taurus Moon Climber clear case here for my Samsung Galaxy S22. Now this case is gonna cost you around 20 to 25 bucks, depending on where you get it. Uh, I've been having a hard time locating it on Amazon. So if you happen to find it, share the link with me down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Taurus was kind enough to send this out for review. So big thank you to them for sending this out. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the actual packaging. So that very recognizable bright orange from Taurus, got the Taurus logo here. Uh, and then of course on the back, it's kind of a breakdown of everything about the case, uh, but it does talk about worry-free quality products, worldwide happy users, blah, 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 blah. Big thing here is like I said, designed for Samsung Galaxy 6.0 inch 2022. Uh, and then, like it says, Moon Climber there. So let's go ahead and get it out. So literally just gonna pull the top part out here and slide the case out. And then it comes in this white packaging here. It does say Taurus, made in China. Let's get it out here. And here it is. So this is a crystal clear case, as you can see, with a kickstand here, a uh, kind of brushed aluminum uh, kickstand uh, with the Taurus branding there. On the inside, not much to talk about. Obviously, it's a clear case. It does say simple but unique right here. And then it says designed by Taurus. Uh, the inside does have these kind of reinforced corners here uh, that I'm not sure if the video will pick up or not, but it's going to help with drop protection and all that good stuff with this particular case. So let's go ahead and grab my S22, but first things first, let's do the pill off. And there we go. And uh, let's grab the Phantom Black S22 here. Start with the button side first and click in. There we go. And voila. Now let me wipe it down real quick because obviously it's a clear case. So I want to make sure y'all get the complete idea of what it will look like on your phone. And there we have it. So there is the Phantom Black inside of this case here. Now, excuse me for the complete crazy reflections everywhere. Obviously with a clear case, they're always gonna be super reflective, but it's a clear case, obviously on the back. You have a polycarbonate back here, uh, very nice sides. Uh, now the kickstand, obviously, I'll go over that more once I get to the end of the video, uh, but a kickstand's a kickstand, right? Um, now, as far as the camera bump cutout, it is very similar to the original cutout of the uh, bump itself for the camera lenses. And then you do have that half circle extended cutout as well. So it's not separated, it's all one piece. Um, now, as far as the back goes, uh, it does have a really nice texture to it. Um, a little gummy, if that makes sense. Um, it does say it's anti-fingerprint, um, but I know with clear cases, the smudges can be a, um, you know, a factor sometimes. So you're gonna to wanna to use your shirt or whatever and wipe it down a lot just to kinda of help with your OCD if you're like me. Now, as far as the sides go, as you can see, it is crystal clear once again. Um, now, as you can see, you can kinda of see that 5G antenna there, but I don't know if the video, there we go. So it's got these little dots, right? So that's gonna help with the clinging of the phone against this case so you're not getting like those weird watermarks on the uh, between the you know phone and the case itself. The uh, volume up and down and power buttons are raised, as you can see there in crystal clear. And then when you start to go to the bottom, you can kind of see those reinforced corners that I was talking about. And at the bottom here, we do have a single cutout for the Type-C port and mic, and then the speaker. And then of course it's clear, so you can see your SIM card tray there. And then going to the side here, uh, once again, all you're going to be seeing are your antenna bands and that uh, dot pattern all throughout the side there. And then going to the top, we do have a circular cutout for the mic. Now on the front, we do have complete 360 protection as well with this case. So you're definitely going to get some screen protection with it. And then here, this is the look for the cutout for the uh, speakers up top. So very minimal, very simple, and it is tempered glass friendly as you can see. So let's go ahead and do the shake test here real quick. Let's see if it wobbles. So face down, there is no wobble. And back down, there really isn't a wobble either, 
But with the uh, kickstand the way it is, you can make it wobble a little bit if you push hard enough on the chin, it looks like. Uh, but realistically, most of the time, if you care about it wobbling, it's going to be the right to left shaking, not the, uh, you know, forcing it by pushing it uh, down at the, at the bottom. Um, so definitely passes that test. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the clicky button test. So let's see how clicky the power button is first. And volume up and down. All right, so they are very clicky, very tactile, very responsive, no issues at all. So now let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging test and let's make sure that we are able to um, achieve that. So as you can see, definitely Qi wireless charging capable, no issues at all. So you are able to wirelessly charge it and also do the reverse power sharing if you do happen to use that extremely slow charging on the back. Now, as far as a kickstand goes, it's a kickstand, but the thing I really like about Taurus's kickstands is that it is very stiff. So what I mean by that is you do have quite a bit of resistance, so you feel like it's gonna lock in place and not give you any issues once it does. Um, now, as you can see, I could even do that if I wanted to, and it's gonna hold in place, um, and then you just put a little force behind it and it will close. Now there is nothing on the inside, but this is kind of the locking um, little part here. Uh, looks like, I don't know, like little screws or something, um, but that's just inside of the kickstand. I don't know if it'll focus, but there it goes. Um, and then of course, with the kickstand, you can do landscape mode. So obviously if you're a fan of watching videos or something like that and just have it off to the side, you can do so. Uh, another thing that you can do is flip it over and have it rest like that as well. So that way, you know, you can angle it a little more back if you wanted to and give it more of an angle. Um, so that's just something to think about. And then, of course, you can close it all the way. And if you want to do portrait, you can also set it up like that if you wanted to, um, which, like I said, with the stiffness and the strength of these kickstands, it's not just going to flop over uh, like some of the other cases that have kickstands, um, for example, like Spigen's. Uh, their kickstands are very flimsy, but they run up and down instead of across. So whenever you do try to do portrait, it just flips down. Uh, but with this, you have all kinds of versatility. You can do it portrait, you can do it this way, you can do it this way. It's totally up to you guys what you want to do. But like I said, it's your choice. Now, when it comes down to the overall just impressions of the case, guys, if you are a fan of clear cases, then you're going to like this case, especially since it has a kickstand. Uh, feels very good in the hand, does not add any noticeable bulk. Uh, it's very slim and uh, feels very good in the hand too. Like I said, with that gummy kind of feeling into it, uh, it does feel very sticky uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, so there we have it guys. There is the Moon Climber for the S22. So hit that like button if you like the video. If you love it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.